This is a risky procedure. I could lose your nipples with this. Have I ever lost a nipple? No, you want to be my first? I'm Nora Alicia, and I'm striving for ultimate perfection, darling. I have spent over $450,000 on surgery. My friends think that I'm a little bit cray cray and I'm putting my life at risk and I can totally see their point, but I'm not listening and I'm not stopping. <laughs> my addiction to cosmetic surgery started when I was quite young. Before surgery, I was an absolute fugly down and out. And I know it sounds quite shallow to say it, but at the time I had nothing else to do. It wasn't very brainy. And I thought if I had a little bit of plastic surgery, my life would change for the better. I was about 18 when I first got my surgery for my boobs. My dad thought he was being really clever. He said, you can have a car or you can have a boob job. And I was like, oh, come on. You can't take a car into a club with you. I'm not that stupid. I was going for the boobs. After my first surgery, I was just obsessed with it. I was like, wow, you can change just by going to sleep and waking up and looking beautiful. I have done around 30 plastic surgery procedures. I've had hairline tattooing, six nose jobs, teeth straightening and whitening, two jaw jobs, two chin jobs, two lip lifts, seven boob jobs, one BBL, two designer vaginas, two ear pin back, two earlobes done, two areola reductions, and a partridge in a pear tree. I mean, this is a screaming, complaining breast, and this one is a disaster. What ha is this one deflated or what? The saline must have deflated on this one. It looks as though she has an old fashioned implant that's called a double lumen implant, where the internal lumen is made out of silicone and the external lumen is filled with saline. The saline part on the outside has ruptured on her left breast. It's days till this turns into an enormous major medical emergency for her. The whole breast is gonna die. I was a dancer for quite a few years and got my first boob job, which were 550 cc's. And then when the featured entertainers started coming into the club, the girls with the very large breasts, I said I wanted to go a little bigger because the bigger the better in this More business. More is better. How big did you go on the second one? 13, 1300. With yeah. what, saline? Yeah. So almost three saline, times yes. the size? So it was saline and silicone. They were double lumen bags that they put in. I was told that that implant I didn't have to remove it. I can push that implant to 3,000 cc's. OK. So is that what they did? Yeah. It's insane to think that any plastic surgeon would even consider taking Dee's breast to this level. The human body is not even equipped to handle this kind of volume expansion in breast tissue. I'm super nervous to tell Dr. Nassif and Dr. DeBerg that I have four implants in. It kind of feels like telling my mom that I did something wrong when I was younger. <laughs> so take us back. Tell us about the genesis of all of this. OK. My first boob job was 600 cc under the muscle. Big. Yeah. Immediately after, my implant was actually poking out oh, of really? my right breast. Yes. And my doctor said he wouldn't touch it and it wouldn't be worth fixing. So I started to seek out like other doctors and do consoles. And at this point, I knew right away I wanted to go bigger. You thought, if I have to get this fixed, I might as well go bigger oh, while that's you're exactly there. exactly what I thought. So what happened? I met a lot of great doctors who turned me away. <laughs> yeah. And I had a very specific number in mind. And Which was what? It was 1,300 cc's. Silicone implants come in a maximum of 800 cc's. Anything larger than 800 cc's puts the tissue under too much tension and predisposes you to thinning of the skin, atrophy of the breast tissue, or significant capsular contracture. It's like putting a bunch of people in an elevator that meets the weight capacity. You can do it, but do you want to be in that elevator? He said we could stack silicone implants Stack? stack? Yes. Two stack. implants? Yeah. Inside? Stack implants? You have two implants yes, in each breast. They do. One above and one below. When I wake up in the morning, my first thought is usually duct tape. What color am I going to have? You have silver tape for working out. You want to go hunting? I've got camo duct tape. You want to feel kind of girly and sparkly? There's glitter duct tape. This is ridiculous. Can you help me, please? Yeah. 
I can remember the first time that I had to ask John to come help me with duct tape. I thought his jaw was gonna hit the floor. He was like, what are you doing? There's definitely a method to the duct tape. It took me a little while to figure it out, but you have to have a cross boob situation. And yes, that means going over the naps. Yeah. All good. Look at that. That probably her, her original breast bud was right there. So this is old. This is dead fat. So all that fat transfer did was die. For fat transfer to the breast to work, the fat has to be good and the tissue you're transferring it to has to have good blood supply. In Shannon's case, that is absolutely not going to work, and in my opinion, is a very weak solution. The first thing that one has to put on the list of things that need to be done is, I make incision around your areola to de-telescope them. Two, you have a bottoming out of the left breast. I need to reconstruct the inframammary crease down here. Number three, I need to take these implants out, okay? Number four, got to put a pair of implants back in. The breast tissue loss that you have from the original operation means the blood supply coming into the nipple is not that robust. This is a risky procedure. I could lose your nipples with this. Have I ever lost a nipple? No, you want to be my first? It's terrifying. I would like to breastfeed my children. Like stuff like that goes through my mind. It's much larger than just what's here right now. I know what your goal is. You want to be filled out so when you're in clothes, it looks like you've got breasts. You want a breast implant look, meaning you want a breast augmentation. But in terms of size, if you want me to do your surgery, I rarely say this to patients. It's up to me what size we use. That's my call. And if that's not acceptable, that's a deal breaker. It's up to me. I need Shannon to temper her expectations and she really needs to understand she probably won't get exactly what her dream result is from this surgical procedure. My boob, kind of like if you got a tennis ball, plopped it in a sock and swinging it like a pendulum. They're very limp, flaccid, nothing happening. Mm-mm, not good. I definitely think bigger the better. I love the fake look. If I'm having something done, I want to look like it was done. No one remembers anyone that is bland. No one wants a wet flannel. <laughs> I was a total tomboy when I was small. I was always the short, little, dumpy one. I was a little fatty right through into my teens and adulthood. It took me quite a long time to get into wanting to be an attractive woman. It wasn't till I had a caricature drawn that I knew that's the look I needed to have. He drew me with big lips, big boobs, small waist. It was like light bulb went on in the top of my head. I knew straight away that's definitely what I needed. So I've got two rhinoplasties, cheek fillers, chin fillers, lip fillers, semi-permanent makeup. Believe it or not, my teeth are actually veneers. They are kind of too big for my face, but we'll just get bigger cheeks and bigger lips and they'll end up working out. <laughs> I've had four boob jobs, a one-stitch facelift and a designer vagina. I think that's pretty much all of it. Heart-shaped nipples were an added accessory, I'd say. It was like adding some decoration. They're definitely a talking point. <laughs> When I first got my breast implants, I was 17. About six weeks in, they suddenly just started to drop. I basically felt like I had four boobs from that day. After the fourth set of him, I woke up and I still did not like what I see. After all the money it's been spent, I still didn't look like the caricature that I want to be. So I made the choice to have a gastric bypass. I'm coming up to losing 200 pounds, so now I've lost all this weight. This is the next step to get them sorted. The next patient, has a problem as a result of breast augmentation surgery. Look at the distance between the nipple and the breast crease. How do you get these nipples to go up? They're at the very bottom of her breast tissue. Unless you can release all the tissue below. Yeah, and but I mean, the, the, the nipples are being tethered right to the chest wall at the breast crease. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you. Well, I don't, she's missing breast tissue. Please bring in Chanel, would you? Sure. Can you please send in Chanel? Hello. Chanel, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Getting this opportunity today is much different than it was two years ago because I'm in better shape. 
I know my body can handle it. I'm ready. Take us back. You had your original breast surgery how many I years ago? I had them when I turned 21 in 99. So the, how did that one go? That went perfect. It took me from an A to a C, and they were beautiful. You were happy. Really happy. So why did you have a second surgery? When I got pregnant with my kid, yeah. um, they turned into pancakes. Oh. They deflated. One was droopy, and then one looked bigger, so he w said I should get a lift. OK, and that's makes when sense. He the lift. That didn't turn out well at all. That's when they start getting like a little bent in. Okay, so scar tissue formed, it sucked the lower portion of the breast tissue in. Right. I said, let me just get rid of them, thinking that, oh, I'm gonna go back to my 32 A's or at least something normal, and that's what didn't happen. Sometimes when you take the implant out, it induces the immune system to continue the contraction process and can actually make it look even worse. So did you go see any plastic surgeons about possibly fixing them? Yes, I did. The main problem was I was overweight. I was over 282 pounds. But you know, you were not 100 pounds overweight. Oh no, most definitely. So what happened? Definitely. How'd you lose the weight? And I just got up one day and said, I'm gonna start walking. And that was over two and a half years ago. My name is Whitney and my breasts look like upside down zucchini. At the age of 14, I developed very large breasts. And so anytime a boy would come up to me, it wouldn't be to flirt with me, it would to try to look down my shirt. Then one day, this boy, and he knows who he is, nicknamed me Titney Whitney, and it just stuck. I got pregnant at the age of 18, and after I had Skylar, my breasts fell. They literally hung to my belly button. It was devastating. The first plastic surgeon I had went to, I told him I would like a reduction, and I come out with these massive boobs. The doctor had put breast implants in without my knowledge. When I first saw my breasts, I was shocked. They were just as big as they were before, if not bigger looking because they were so high. And then about three months later, and I was looking in the mirror, and when I would turn to the side, I would notice that there was implant up here and breast tissue down here. And I was like, did something go wrong? Did I do something wrong? So that's when we contacted the surgeon again. I told him, please make me smaller. And all he kept saying was I had too much elasticity in my skin and that it just wasn't possible to remove breast tissue at this age. And he said, well, let me go back in and do another lift. The breasts were just uneven. Uh, the right one was bigger than the left one. So we went and saw him again for the third time, and my breasts looked the same. It mentally really messed me up. I looked different than every other woman in this world. My kids like to go run at the track uh, and do the uh, bleachers. I would love to do them with them. However, the bouncing and the running, it's just right now, it's just impossible. It's almost like I was just torn apart at my breast, and I don't know why, but it's been so long and I've, I've lived this way and I'm just, I'm just praying for a change. Martina has the largest pair of breast implants in all of Europe. Those are huge. So look how flat. Oh, the poor girl, he has no yeah. butt. She, she has anterior projection, but no posterior projection. So why don't we bring Martina in and go over this with her? Can you please send a Martina? Hello. Martina? Dr. Nassif? Yeah. Hello? Terry Dubrow, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, Mike, uh, the boyfriend. Hi. Terry Dubrow, nice to meet you. Thank you. Please have a seat. Yeah. I traveled so far to meet the doctors to ask them, can I have really huge butt implants? I like how you both have almost the same hair coloring. Yes. Yeah, when we met in school, we are a little bit like twins. You met in school? Yeah. Yes, we was a senior at high school, and since we are a couple... You since, each high school? since high school? Yes, yeah, since high school. <laughs> that long, no kidding. That's and very we nice. Worked, uh, we worked for the same airline, and now we are also partner in business and in life. Wait, but you work for the same airline? Yes, yeah. uh, I was a pilot, and Martina was a uh, flight yeah. attendant. Yeah. So what is your, the name you go by in Germany? Martina Big. Martina Big. Yeah. So big. Because big is not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you have 2,000 in there? No. What do you 3, have? 3,700. In each? Yes. 3,700 in each? Yes. Those breasts are ginormous. 
How could you even walk without toppling over? How many operations did it take you One, to get? One, two, three, and the rest is fill-ups. There's here's a valve, and there's a valve. Oh, so you have a tissue expander in yeah. there. So you have a little port and a valve that someone puts a needle in and puts more in? Yes. You've had plastic surgery procedures in order that it maximize your ability to do the cosplay kind of thing, or? Yes. My first surgery was when I was 18. How much did you put in the first time? 850. Your in, first in, operation in was 850? With 850 cc's in each yes. breast? Yes. Wow. Breast implants alone in an 18-year-old is pretty controversial. Putting 850 cc implants in is downright wrong. Within a year, I started to have a double bubble and bottomed out. Yeah. And the breast muscle on my side actually was lapping over. Yeah. After going so large on the first surgery, it's no surprise that Bunny developed very significant breast complications. My second surgery, one of the first things he did was close up the breast muscle on right. the side, and I got 2,000 cc's. Wait, 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 whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a second. She had a complication from putting large implants in her first operation, and then she went on to have even larger implants put in? That is so not a good idea. What were you thinking? I've always wanted the fake, unnatural-looking boob look. You weren't there at 850? Sadly, no, because when they started dropping, they just continued to drop. OK. So I am still looking to go bigger to achieve that look. That's what I'm really aiming for. And do you think that'll make you more successful in the cosplay world? Definitely. I will definitely say that would help push my stuff. I went to the doctor, and I mean, he looked at it and instantly he was like, that's not a scab, that's your implant. Oh, I'll show your implant was being exposed. Yeah. And he said, there's a possibility I'm going to have to take both your implants out. You're going to have to stay without implants three to six months, yeah. and you're going to have to recover. That right there is. I the mean, answer. Yeah, that's the answer. But, I mean, me so, being stubborn, yeah. I said, I don't want that. Okay. I said, any way we could get around that. OK. And then what happened? Within two days, we did an emergency surgery. Took it out. Took it out. And then cleaned the area, and then put a brand new one in. That we would. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Go back for a second. <laughs> Took the contaminated implant out, mm -hmm. put a brand new one in, Blew it up to the same volume as it was originally, 1,200 cc's? Same, same volume. And then just closed it real tight. Sewed me up. All right. and, That's and a plan. Then about six days That's later, exactly. I wake up, and the whole left side of my shirt just goes wet. Yeah, yeah. Liquid coming out of an incision in the breast area it almost always means that there's a leak from a seroma, which is inflammatory fluid, and the wound is falling apart. A total disaster. So I called my doctor. Yeah. He said, I think you have an infection. He put me on some antibiotics. We did surgery and then took the implant out and, and put another implant in. What size? Are you <laughs> kidding me? 1,200. Oh. And that's that implant? Three times. That's this one. O M. F, O, F, 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 G. That is just insane. Wow. You're lucky to be alive. Anything that survived those antibiotics was a resistant bacteria. Yeah. If that resistant bacteria would have grown up, you would have had an untreatable breast infection that could have gotten to your tissue. And that's, that's how flesh-eating disease happened. That's the way. How long ago was that? This was going on seven weeks ago. When, oh, when, whoa, when, whoa, when, seven when, weeks what? ago? Seven weeks ago. Ah, well, I wouldn't be surprised the thing falls out while you're sitting here. <laughs> Don't say that! You think it's over? Seven weeks? I mean, how long did it take you the last time you exposed from the surgery to exposure? How long was that? It's about a month and a half out. So six, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. You understand that you're not, you're not you're completely not out of the woods. Out of the no woods. way. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? How nice you? to meet you, Dr. Nancy. For over 16 years, my breasts look weird because they're hanging down. It's just ugly. It would make dreams come true if Dr. DeBro says, oh, we're going to take these out. We're going to put some new boobs in. Everything's going to be great. We're going to do this, like, in five seconds. Take us back. Tell us the journey. And how did you arrive here? I get into fitness modeling because I fit the criteria. But I noticed girls that had bigger breasts were getting more 
gigs. So I'm like, okay. One of my model friends referred me to a guy. Her breasts look awesome. A guy? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was a dentist, but I thought he was a doctor. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Tell me I'm not about to hear that a dentist did your breast augmentation. He did. He didn't represent himself as a dentist. OK, so what happened? You went in there, and what, what was the interaction like? He's like, oh, I'm going to give you a 475 or 450, a big C, a small D. OK. About a year and a half later, I go back. I want them a little bigger and kind of closer together. It doesn't work, by the way. Going larger never makes breasts look closer together. All it does is make them look bigger. And until plastic surgeons figure that out, we're going to see a lot of big-breasted girls who are very far apart. How much bigger? 550 or so. So nothing changed, really? No. So then? Tell me you didn't go back to the dentist asking for bigger ones. I did not, because he told me he wouldn't do anymore. OK. He. OK. I find this guy, do some research, and I tell him, I'm OK with the size. You know, I just want them closer together. OK. I wake up, and my boobs are, like, real huge. They were like, oh, well, we put 1,000 cc's in. You woke up with 1,000 cc's in each breast, almost double in each and breast. And no closer. No. And then he said, oh, I took them from under the muscle. Well, he took them from under the muscle to on top of the muscle? Yeah. Why? He said, because the envelope or something was too small. I was like, OK. And wow. I start getting rippling, and like the implant did backflips inside my boobs. Oh, really? Yes. One nipple's here, the other one's like, mm. you know. Summer breasts. Some are here, some are there. <laughs> yeah.